All right, so today I'm troubleshooting a stainless clad San Mai class that I got to do for a liquor distillery company uh, in a couple of weeks. So I got to make 12 of these in a day with a group of guys that have never done any sort of bladesmithing before. And I just knocked my TIG welder off of the welding stand and it's broken. So I'm going to attempt to stick weld some stainless sand my billets so i got some 440c cladding and 1084 high carbon for the core so i'm going to go ahead and clamp these and with low amperage weld you know airtight around the billet All right, we're gonna take our billet here and see if this thing will forge weld. We're gonna take it. Ugh. Into the forge. All right, so we're gonna do this over the power hammer because I'm lazy today. So I have uh, three of these An Yang power hammers. They're pretty awesome. If you can stomach the price and save a little bit of money, it's definitely worth it over the tire hammer. Um, so this one's three phase, it's a little older. It's several years older than my the two on the outside. So it requires the VFD. Alright, I got my beveling die set up on here, so we're gonna take that off. We want the flat dies to set our welds. So we're gonna take that off. Get our camera set up here. All right, so that ought to set. Um, we're gonna let it come up to forge welding temperature again and we'll give it another go and we'll make sure we set the weld before we start drawing out. So we're moved over to a different power hammer with a, a combination die set up where I got a drawing die on the left. That'll allow me to shape and bring one end of my billet down to more of a point, allow me to taper half of it.
So we forged out a little bit of a taper for our point. We hot cut a notch to isolate some material for our tang, okay? So that's where we're at now. So now we're gonna forge this into that. We're gonna get some length out of our billet now.
right, so we're forged. We got our handle burned through and fitted up. Now we're gonna do a normalization cycle over in the heat treating oven. So this thing's still coming up the temperature. We'll go ahead and throw it in there though. Start normalization. All right, it is time to quench our knife. So we're gonna grab it and dunk it in the oil. Temper, grind, fit up our handle, and we'll be done. So we have our knife here. We got our bevel ground. We're gonna do a test etch here. We're gonna put our knife in some acid for a few seconds. Oh, that ought to, that ought to do it. Oh, look at that. stainless cladding, high carbon core. All right, we're gonna get this finished up. Sharpened, handle fitted up, and then we'll get it on the website. All right, so we've etched, we've soaked in coffee for a little bit. Now we're gonna apply a coat of wax, do our handle fit up and, and sharpen, and we'll call it. We have finished our stainless clad 1084 high carbon core San Mai Gyoto. Santoku. Could be either. It could be either. Whoever buys it, you can decide. How about that? I'll put it up on the website. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.